Hello and welcome to this video tutorial here on the djpodcast.com. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to get your M Audio X Session Pro to work with Ableton Live. Now what we're going to be doing is basically mimicking a standard DJ mixer being controlled by the X Session with parameters in Live. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go into the preferences and you're going to want to make sure that the X Session is set to the input and output and that you have the remote clicked on for the X session. And that'll allow the X session to communicate with live. Now, since we're going to be mimicking a standard DJ mixer, we're going to drag an EQ3 onto both the first and second deck. Once we've done that, we're going to click MIDI here up at the top. And you can see that all of the different parameters have now turned blue. That means that they are MIDI mappable. And when you assign a MIDI control to them, a little number will pop up, and that's the MIDI note that is controlling that parameter. So we're going to start with the volume faders, and we can just simply click on it and move the fader on the X Session Pro to assign that control, and we'll do that for deck two. And next we're going to do the EQs. So we'll start with the low, and you can see that we have already the knobs for EQ here and here on the X session. So we'll use those controls. And we'll do that for deck one as well. Great. Now the next thing that we're gonna want to do is set up our channel send. So we have over here we have a beat repeat on send A and a filter delay on send B. And we're going to simply click on the send control here, move the knob, and for B, and do that as well on deck one, or deck two, sorry. All right, now the next thing that we're going to want to do is go into our maximum values here. You can see that we have minimum and maximum values. So if you want to limit the, say, range of frequencies or the volume level, you can do that. And so you can see we have a lot of these that say 6 dB. And what we're going to want to do is just change them all to 0. That way we're never actually going above 0 decibels on our EQs or our track volumes. And depending on what controls you map, you'll have either volume controls, frequency controls, that kind of thing for your minimum and maximum values. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you what we've done and let's get out of the mini map mode and let's just start two tracks. All right. So you can see here on deck one, I can take out the lows the mids, the highs, bring them all back in. And you also notice that they never go above zero dB because we've set the maximum parameter to zero. Now let's say we wanna get a beat repeat on. Maybe do a little filter delay. All right, now let's, you know, we can see the effects on the other deck here. Maybe swap the bass and have the effect on. Bring that down. And yeah, so that's the basic MIDI mappings for the M-Audio X Session Pro and Ableton Live. 